Hello and welcome to Jira workflow tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll see about the Jira uh, workflow triggers. So I am into the uh, sample workflow that we created and which is in the inactive state at the moment. So let's see some of the transitions here. So if we click on any of the transition in the workflow, you will see all the options that are available for that particular transition and then you can edit or delete transition from here. Then um, you have certain options here like properties, triggers, conditions, validators, post functions and then you have link to go to the docs.atlassian, right? So now let's see what exactly are triggers in um, the workflow. Now if you click on this link triggers, it will um, redirect you to the um, triggers section of this workflow or you can simply go to the text mode of the workflow and then select any of the um, sort of uh, transition and it will directly uh, take you to the same page right so at the moment I'm in the transition in development from open to in development and for which um, I can set up the trigger right now this add trigger button will be available only if you have integrated your development tools like like uh, Bitbucket, GitHub, uh, etc. to your Jira instance. Since I have already configured that, I'm able to get this add trigger uh, button here. If you want more details, I'll um, go through this read um, workflow uh, workflow trigger guide. And if you open the latest one, you will see all the options here about uh, before you begin so you ha you need to have the configuration or integration with Bitbucket server fisheye crucible GitHub Bitbucket or GitHub. Now once you have uh, this Integration in place then the second step is basically to setting up the triggers which will cover in this tutorial right now If you see this um, Trigger here so you can simply to add a trigger you click on add trigger and then you have certain options here right so you whenever a developer uh, creates a pull request or a pull request got merged so there are certain options or certain um, uh, different uh, triggers that could be uh, available and what exactly it does is as soon as this action happens then uh, the issue will be transitioned from one state to another so you can set that up so uh, set that automatic transitioning of the issues with these triggers so for example if a developer uh, creates a branch right so he doesn't have to you know manually move a issue from to do to in progress if he he, uh, he has already created a branch through the issue uh, if the issue automatically gets transitioned from to do in progress that's of a big help so we'll say branch created and then click on next and then um, you know what what sources so this is my um, uh, bitbucket uh, uh, sort of integration uh, branch and then if I just click on um, add trigger then the trigger got added so what what it uh, does is as soon as the branch is created in that particular issue uh, what it will do is it will automatically transition the issue when a related branch is created in the connected rep uh, repository right and it will transition a issue from open to in development right because we have added a trigger for um, for this transition all right so that's basically what a trigger will will do so there are multiple um, options here uh, that you can add triggers so for example if a pull request is created or pull request merged you can um, do a separate trigger or you can do automatic updation of the issue now the other thing to notice in triggers is that you have many other options uh, like pull request created, pull request declined, commit created, pull request merged. So you can utilize, so for example, pull request merged. As soon as the pull request gets merged into the master branch, then you can transition an issue from um, in review to done automatically. So in that case, it reduces the overhead of the developer to update the Jira 
um, and um, as soon as he's done with the um, you know like pull request merge etc similarly if it is um, uh, say for example pull request created um, you can transition an issue from in development to in review so there are many um, you know like customizations and triggers available uh, with the development tool in um, Jira software so hope you like the video um, please do share and subscribe and thank you for watching